Good morning, this is Joyce, and I am here with another Saturday morning challenge of friends. Uh, it is when Shantae and I, ch we just challenge each other to use all those wonderful crafty items that we both own or use tools that we haven't used before just to be a creative kind of girl, you know? And this week's challenge for us is to use something that is not normally used in crafting. Um, wax paper. It could be anything, any item that really is not affiliated with crafting. You know, people don't usually craft with it. Uh, we do tend to use things. <laughs> Uh, and we're calling it Extraordinary or Extraordinary, whichever way you want to say it. And, you know, I had this bag. I love this bag. Look at that paper. Isn't it gorgeous? I've used it before on some cards. And since it was such a nice size bag, I still had pe pieces of it left. Uh, and this bag is kind of made like... Um, well, it's got fibers going through it. It's not just paper. It feels like a fabric. I mean, it doesn't feel just like a regular paper bag, you know. Um, you know the bags we get from Michaels and stuff. It's not like that. It has texture to it. I love the colors when I saw it, and when I bought it, I actually think it was to use as a gift bag. And after I got it home, I decided, nah, let me find a plain old gift bag and use that. And then I'm going to keep this. Well, look at those colors and that gold going through there. So this time, instead of just cards, uh, I used that. I used some of this Michael's Bling. They call them Crackle Dots. I wish I had got more of that because I love those colors. And those colors are just perfect with my bag. And these are all the pieces that I still have left. I tried punching it with one of my punches. And it did not do well. It would not go totally through. I found that I got this cording here. I used this cording. Uh, so, oh, I didn't know what I can do. I can cut with my um, die cuts, dies. I can do that. Okay, so I used that cording. I used the Tim Holtz bow, bow die. I have never made my own bows before, and I don't tie very good bows. But I had bought this on clearance somewhere. And so I decided to use that. And you know, being Tim Holtz, it's got a kind of um, distressed look about it. So I love how my bows turned out. And so that is my paper. Let's move all this stuff out the way because my desk is overcrowded at the moment. So we will put that over there until I can decide what to do with the rest of it. And these are my bows. Look at them. They are so cute. They come in three different sizes. And, oops, there it is. Oh, they, I just love them. And just, you know, just like that, um, they are distressed because it kind of leaves little edges. And I inked it with uh, distress ink. I love those. I can't wait to use them on a card or something. So I did two sets. Yeah, cut it twice. They are so cute. Look at them. I love how they turned out. So I am looking for projects to use them on. And then I made a book. It is actually a traveler's notebook. It has a half inch spine. I use that gold cording. 
I use one of Tim's little um, tags there that says enjoy the journey and I didn't use any uh, I just did this like I would have done for the cover of um, a mini album so let's go down let's go out So I took a piece of card, a 110 pound chipboard, cardboard, um, cardboard, 110 pound um, cardstock from Michaels, and I scored it to get that. It is, I forget how big it is, but it is, oh, let's see, it is four inches by six and a half so I you know I cut my paper scored it and then I wrapped my paper bag around it I love how this turned out I didn't think it need any more embellishing because the paper itself is just so pretty and then I did to punch two little holes and made them a little bigger using my little tool here from Cricut and then I ran my cording through it has two it has enough uh, for ribbon for ribbon it has two cords so I took the I didn't have time to make and I didn't really want to make any um, notebooks inserts so I took the two out of my what I use in my purse for my list and I just put them in and as you can see I did the inside with basil cardstock did my corners love it I mean and then there's my ribbon my, my why do I want to call it ribbon there's my cording for closure and I put it in the back instead of the side. I love it. You could put this in your purse. I, I mean, and I may switch it out, you know, in the spring and use this one. Oops. Okay. If you don't pull it over the right way, it will be upside down. There it goes. And it just says, enjoy the journey. I didn't make it really tight because, but I'm not going to be adding anything and I probably can tighten it up some. But what do you think about that? I mean, it turned out really good and I think this paper will be not easily distressed or torn because it is really thick. Uh, so that is my traveler's notebook. And those books... Uh, inserts from my day regular it fit just great and it is just about the same size so they were a perfect fit so yeah uh, thank you so much for watching uh, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up I will definitely be tight tightening my cord because it is a bit loose so it could stand to be pulled to heighten just a little bit. Uh, I love my bows. And I guess this is a bow that I could use. You see these are still sitting here. It would go on this project here. It could be used on something like that. Maybe. But those are still sitting out because I haven't decided what to do with them. So yeah, y'all, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And please, Ch Shantae's information will be in the box below. Uh, so go by and check her out. Oh yeah, and I did do a 3x3 three three card. I didn't do anything inside because you can just write. And I did another one. I didn't have time to... And I wasn't sure. Like I said, they just had all these little bits and pieces of the paper left. So I just 
about and let me throw a few together and I may make a few more and just to have on hand so yeah thank you so much for watching I'd love to know what you think of my little traveler's notebook like I said it feels really sturdy and I definitely we will be trying these again I think that's cute so yeah thank you so much uh, and I am just bumbling over my words at the moment but don't forget go by and check out Shantae leave us both a little love we can use it uh, and I will be back I've got a couple other things going on today and hope to get a couple more videos done Bye, y'all.